Hello and welcome back to my world of miniature wind turbines. Today I'm going to demonstrate for you the capabilities of the wind turbine that I designed called wind battery. And it's called wind battery simply because it generates DC electricity by using uh, a permanent magnet motor that generates DC electricity when the shaft is turned. Now to get the speed out of the motor that I need to generate up to 12 volts, even though the radio doesn't take that much, I'm using a model helicopter gear that's about four times larger than the gear that's attached directly to the shaft of the DC motor. This means that every time the turbine head assembly turns one revolution, the motor itself will be turned four. Now the, bat uh, the battery requirement for the radio that I'm using is only about four volts. And I've got my two alligator clips connected to where the batteries will make contact. So I had to put between the radio and the uh, mini wind turbine a DC voltage regulator circuit that um, only allows the radio to receive the amount of DC voltage needed to operate. This is a protection system so that if you get a gust of wind that's too much for the radio, the radio will only see the amount of voltage necessary for it to work and nothing internally will be uh, burned up by too much DC electricity. Now before I turn on wind battery, one viewer asked how did I make the blades and I think this viewer is asking how did I make the blades for the mini wind turbine I call Hercules that in my first demonstration lifted 1,009 grams which is two pounds three and a half ounces. I'm going to show that quickly because uh, some of you might want to try making a small wind turbine and I started off with flat material called styrene from a local hobby shop. This material is absolutely flat. I cut the shape of the blades that I wanted and here it is right here. I cut the shape out of five pieces of styrene, taped them together and then put them on a piece of round cardboard tubing that's all of them stacked together so that they all have the same curve. Let's tape them on there using duct tape. Now once I did this and got the curvature that I wanted so I can get a lift on, the, on one side of the wing itself, I put this whole piece inside of the microwave for two minutes. There was no smell, no danger of fire or explosion or anything of that. Uh, nature and as soon as the uh, uh, material got soft enough and curved I took it out of the microwave threw it in cold water and it maintains even today it the shape that I want it so that's one way to take a flat surface which is what these wings originally were and put enough curvature on them on I hope you can see that there's a curve on them so that uh, they actually work like an airplane wing. Now, with that out of the way, let's turn on our power source, which is a house fan, and get our radio working here. Okay, we're getting rotation from wind battery. You can hear the gear, and there goes the radio. You can see the power light. Let's go back around so you can see that no batteries have been added to the radio.
Alright, that's how a wind battery works. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. I appreciate uh, comments, positive or negative. You won't hurt my feelings. I just love to make these things and I uh, hope that uh, more people will get involved in coming up with ways to solve future energy problems. Have a very nice day. Goodbye.